Chris Moyles, radio DJ, TV personality, and if you look at his tax return, used car salesman. At the height of his time as Radio 1's breakfast DJ, he was one of the BBC's top earners. But in 2008, the self-titled saviour of the radio station still tried to save himself more than a million pounds in tax. Moyles signed up to a tax avoidance scheme called Working Wheels. The joining fee was £95,000. Using the system, he claimed to have sold £3,700 worth of used cars at a loss of a million pounds. These losses could then be set against his tax bill. Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs says the scheme was run by NT Advisors Limited. It attracted 450 celebrities, fund managers and high earners between 2006 and 2008. The tax office says the company is well known for promoting highly artificial tax avoidance schemes and this is the fourth consecutive win against the firm in court. The tax office says closing the working wheel scheme down has saved the taxpayer £290 million. The tribunal judge said of Moyles that he clearly entered the scheme to make a tax saving and took no interest in the used car trade. He denies knowingly doing anything illegal but admitted last night on Twitter to being naive. I'm not a tax expert, he says. I acted on the advice I was given. This was a mistake and I accept the ruling without reservation. I take full responsibility and have learned a valuable lesson. It's not the first time high-profile high earners have been caught using schemes like this. Comedian Jimmy Carr admitted in 2012 he'd made a terrible error of judgment when he joined a tax avoidance outfit, a move that David Cameron called morally wrong. It's about all of us. Goodbye Moyles and two other men have been ordered to pay the tax they owe. As for the hundreds more using the working wheel scheme, the tax office says it will be contacting them soon. Joe Tidy, Sky News.